All right, guys. Art had to get the Jaguar out to get his dad's Chrysler out, so he wants to talk about it a little bit, too. Um, this, you, you guys went car shopping, and this is what your wife wanted, right? Yeah. And it's a 1998 yes. XJ8 yes. Jaguar. And you bought it brand new in St. Louis, right. correct? Right. Yep. More Jaguar dealer there. Um, it was called More. Yeah. More Jaguar in St. Louis yeah. is where it comes from. So I remember when this was your daily driver. Yeah. It sat there where the Flex is sitting yeah. now. Yeah. Well, no, the Ford truck sat there. The 89 F250 yeah, sat where the right. Flex did, and the Jaguar sat where the Plymouth is sitting. 56 Plymouth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this car's got 87,000 miles on it. And At this time, Ford Motor Company owned Jaguar. I think it was 96, but I'm not sure. I think sure. 96 when they bought them? Yeah. And they sold it here, I think, three years ago, whenever all the other corporations was going through a crunch. Yeah. And this is the reason. Yeah, Ford's seen it coming, so they yeah. unloaded it before, before, the before it happened. Before the others declared bankruptcy. Yeah. And this is another reason why we bought it. It had a hood ornament. Yeah, you didn't see very many hood ornaments at that time. <laughs> no. No. It was plain, you know. And it had a lot of chrome. Yeah. Like the old cars, you yeah. know. And the side chromes, and we just liked the looks of it. It is. It's a neat looking car. It's green. You know what we call it? It's, full, it's racing green that Jag used back when he was racing it. They used colors. Ford was white, and the Jags was green. Oh, really? Is that what it's called, racing green? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's how they determined instead of having numbers, they had colors. Yep. It's got a sunroof. Nice-looking aluminum wheels. Yeah. With the, well, we'll that's look at those a little bit closer on the other Jag, side. Jag yeah. in them, and then... I like that little dual pinstripe that runs all the way around. Yeah. That's painted on. I don't know what I Yeah, that yeah, oh. that's that's painted on. Um Yeah, there's that Jaguar Jaguar right there in the center of the wheel. That looks neat. And I also like this, the the Jaguar and the pinstripe there. What we liked was all this chrome. Oh, yeah. Back then, you know, in 98, everything was just one solid color. Yeah, and solid they were color. still putting a lot of chrome on these. You got V8 right there. Yeah. <laughs> nice leather interior. I wonder where, do you know where they were building these? I don't know exactly where they, I don't know if that brochure would sell it or, or tell you or not. I don't know. I do know at this time Ford did yeah. own them. Yeah. And it is a V8. Do you know what V8 it is? No, I couldn't even tell you. Want me to pop the hood? Yeah. I like the way the hood opened, too. Yeah. Ford's used to have that. Yep, Ford does this in 57. 57, 58, 59, all opened like this, I think, for Ford. Oh, it's got fuse boxes. That is a big engine in a small car. Let me get it around out of the sun, or out of these shadows. It's a 4.0. What does that tell you? Well, <laughs> it doesn't, because the four, the four liters, uh, you know, in the Explorers and things like that was a six-cylinder. So it's a small V8. You know, it's not a 5.0, it's a 4.0, so I don't know what the liters would be. Well, I mean, well, it's a 4 liter, but I don't know what, like, the cubic inch would be considered. I don't know either. You know? I know it's got fuse boxes. I bet it hauls ass, don't it? Yeah, yeah. It's got fuse boxes here, and on the lower part of the back seat, there's fuse boxes. And then trunk, there's two big fuse boxes. Fuse boxes everywhere. Is this the battery? 
No. Batteries in the trunk. The batteries in the trunk. We should have done some research, figured out where this out. Well, you guys put it in the comments. Tell us where they were building these Jaguars in 1998. It's I only got one wiper. Yeah. Why do you need two? It I guess you don't. Wipes completely yeah. <laughs> across the windshield. I guess you don't. That's a way to save money. Yeah. And it wipes the whole windshield on top, you know. Uh-huh. It's right in the center, just like a clock. Have you ever had to replace these? No. I've had to replace them on my Lincoln three times. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. I don't know why they quit putting springs on them. I don't know either, but that's... One time I do that was when I got an oil change. This is a really stylish car. It's got some wide wheels and tires on it, too. Yeah. I bet it handles really well, though. Yeah. Yeah, it... So what made you decide to go look at Jaguars? Well, I, I decided... She kind of picked it. My wife picked it out. And, uh... Forget, we had it figured out. Last new car was a 73 Grand Prix. Oh, really? And we always drove these old cars, first, second vehicle. Well, she drove the truck later. Yeah. But uh, she, uh, well, her daughter was there, and she was questioning, in, you know, can you afford? And I figured, well, uh, it's been 20, I think it was, uh, I think, 25 years since we had a new car. And, so you uh, saved enough money to, I to buy one. <laughs> buying these cars you know i couldn't afford anything out there <laughs> yeah i'm sorry if you guys hear the neighbor over there the the wife's blowing the driveway off and the neighbor's mowing where you are using microphones so i certainly hope you guys are hearing us okay i guess if if you're not we just won't use the video <laughs> Eighty-seven thousand thirty-five miles i wonder I guess you can come around the corner here and shift it manually. Is this is that what's going on? Yeah, but then it limits the automatic from certain RPM. Oh, really? If you put sport shift, then it lets you open them up. That's what, that, that must not be wanting to latch. Yeah. That was a common thing on all vehicles back then. Boy, it is a fancy thing, and you can... It looks like you can have up to four garage doors. Yeah. I guess, you know, all I've ever seen is three. But I guess if they figure you can afford a Jaguar, you probably got four doors. Yeah. Four, four <laughs> car garage. <laughs> and I noticed here, too, on your memory for your seats and stuff, you've got three instead of two. Yeah, you can. So they, they gave you a little bit more bang for your buck. Yeah. Back well, then. they had to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a lot of money back in 98. Yeah, it's got heated seats. Yeah, it's pretty luxurious looking. I guess kind of, I guess you'd call it like a European sport yeah. luxury car. Let's open the trunk. You got the, you said the invoice was in the trunk? Yeah. Look at that. You put the gas in up here. They used to have a dual. In the older models, they had a chrome cap. You took the, oh, we really? liked that on the older model, but they drove like a log wagon. And it's got an automatic antenna because when yeah. you had it running earlier, their yeah. antenna was up. Automatically goes up. It's air conditioned too. I, I was going to say, is what's this? It it blowed it yeah, blows think, cool air in the trunk. I think, or maybe that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's strange. Unless it's just like a vent because the battery's back here somewhere, isn't it, you said? Yeah. 
Maybe the battery's under there. It's just like a vent or something. I don't know. Yeah, the battery's right over up in there. Huh. Big asshole battery. I wouldn't want to change it. So, what's this here? This Was this a window sticker? Yeah. $58,130 in 1998. With tax, it ended up being paid 50, after it was 50000 you had to pay luxury tax. After 50000 Yeah. had to pay luxury tax. And then you paid sales tax on the whole car. Yeah, well, that makes sense. But they made you pay a luxury tax at over 50000 and Jeez. that that was that considered Illinois or Missouri? Well, they no, that was Illinois, but they applied in Missouri to huh. get the license. And, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. British Racing Green exterior and interior is called cashmere. Port of entry Baltimore, so it was imported. Yeah. So well, it, it it was not built in the states. Yep, more wag, more Jaguar, Manchester, St. Louis. I wonder what fifty-eight thousand is now with this inflation. <laughs> I don't have an idea. I bet you can get that twenty-four plus, probably can't yeah, you out on the highway? It does yeah, I good bet it does. Job on. Yeah. Huh. I think you get twenty-six, or I was getting twenty-six miles a gallon on the interstate. Yeah. Did you want me to lift that? Is it easy? It ain't, it, it ain't bolted down. You just gotta. No, I said it was easy. There's a battery in there. Good grief. It looks like a tractor battery. It, it's, you got to buy a certain interstate, and here's all the fuses. Yeah, well, some of the fuses, some of them are under the hood. That, most yeah. of them looks like they're back here. Yeah. Well, there's not as many in there as I thought. But these little wires they use. Yeah. I still don't know what that vent is. We need to investigate that. Okay, viewers, tell us what this vent back here is. Is it sending heat and air back here to the trunk, too? We don't know. I would think. Huh. But I yeah, that's a big old long, narrow battery like a tractor battery. It ain't cheap. I know I have to go with... I think it's certain, I don't know whether it's interstate batteries or what. But it's got a lot of little ass wires. It does. Well, that's all going to the fuse box. Yep. Yeah. A braided, big braided ground wire. Hmm. I noticed up here there's a bunch of wires running along up here too. Uh, for the trunk, I don't know what it all is. I don't know. Lights. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, we could turn it on and see if we get cold air back there. Let's do that, just for shits and giggles. I don't know. I just. I <laughs> started up, turn the air on. We're going to see if it blows air out this vent back here. There goes the antenna. Air's on. You got it on? Yeah. No. I don't feel anything coming out of there. It must just be a vent for something else. May have to study the owner's manual. That takes you forever to go through it. I know. <laughs> we got a Jaguar CD changer back here in the trunk. It's got, I think it holds eight. Eight yeah. CDs. Yeah. It's usually six. Oh. 
Um, it doesn't say. Yeah, there's six. Yep, six of them. I know it's you never go that that looks just exactly like a Ford yeah. <laughs> CD player with a Jaguar yeah, that, on it. I, I wouldn't doubt guarantee that. you that is. Is yeah. it's We'll take this one down the road and then pull up and grab oh. me and we'll take it for a okay. drive. This car looks fast sitting still. Huh? This car kind of looks fast yeah. sitting still. <laughs> well, it's quiet. Looks like it's good, got good rubber on it too. Rolling the windows up. It's hard telling what that car still worth, to be quite honest. Only 87,000 miles on it, even though I'm being 98. Because it sure has, it don't look outdated or anything. I bet that's a fun car to drive. V8. Yeah, maybe you gotta. Maybe you have to use the remote. You know, there's a lock on it, I guess. It's not doing anything, though. A lot of them don't when it's running. Oh. I don't know where the door lock switch is at. I guess it don't matter. I got in. I don't know what all that. Oh, that's seat position. Well, this is heated seats, and you got track off. I don't know what valet is. Some well, valet parking. Yeah, that's where you can have a. Where they park the cars in a strange place, and it only works. With the probably won't open the trunk or yeah. anything if you've got that activated. Yeah. It's got a cassette player as well. Yeah, it's. Too much junk for me. It's got a lot of stuff on it for 98, don't it? Yeah. It's got tilt and telescoping steering with a touch of a button like new cars have got. Yeah, I don't know how that. There it goes. It's headed out your way. Yeah. There it goes, tilting down. Let's get all over this thing and show them what it'll do. This car looks fast. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> There I go. I can't even feel it. There it goes. God. This is something. You got what you paid for. I don't want to go 120. I've got it up to 120. <laughs> How fast are we going now? Going uh, 90, I think. No, oh, you're running 130. You better shut this damn thing down. <laughs> I didn't even know the speedometer went that fast. <laughs> Don't hit that car up there. <laughs> I didn't know we were running 130. <laughs> What's that damn thing go to? 150? I right. I've had it to the <laughs> to the speedometer or the, the 
it goes to 170. Yeah. I couldn't believe it when I leaned over there and you had it laying on 130. I didn't know we were going that fast. <laughs> I could tell it on the side road. It don't shut off either, does no. it? Oh, that's it didn't feel or sound like it. Did it? I mean, no. We're going 60 and it just seems like we're barely crawling. Yeah, I thought we were maybe running 100. <laughs> I probably I, shouldn't have leaned over there in front of you. I couldn't we even. I Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had uh, a four liter doing that in 98. Now, my aunt's four liter Explorer won't do that. <laughs> well, Jay, they built this for its air dionics. It's, oh, yeah. I mean, this thing didn't have a sound in it at that speed. What do you think this thing's still worth? I said something to him on the video when you went down the road. I bet it's still really holds its value even with 87 you know 87,000 miles is no miles for a a 98 i'm just looking that i got gas in it but just not a whole lot quarter tank maybe yeah how fast are you running right now i'm going at 80. 80. okay punch it wow <laughs> now it's 110. What are we laying on now? 135 or 125. 130. <laughs> uh, finally shifted to high gear. It just shifted to high gear. At 130. At 130. Okay, we're almost to town. <laughs> this damn thing shifted into high gear at 130. I didn't expect that. <laughs> now all these cars that we've come over here and talked to you about, I think now this one's my favorite. <laughs> so we got 75 miles to go. Wow. Boy, it's got good smooth brakes too, don't it? Yeah. And that's the original brake shoes yet on it. Really? I bet this dang thing would do every bit of that 170 if you wanted to lay it out there. Yeah. We ain't got no room anymore to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's got so many controls on it, I don't even know what all of it is. Yeah, a lot of people complain about new cars being that way. and. And even this thing clear back in 98 had it. But you know what? I bet you haven't had to do a damn thing to this, have you? No, not too much. I mean, has anything actually gone wrong with it to where... I had trouble with... Uh, I got a used one. The brake controller where it decides which wheels spin. Like the analog brake controller? Yeah. You had to replace that? Yeah, it... It went bad. Uh, I got a used one that it isn't working either anymore. ABS. The analog brakes? Yeah. Hmm. Is there a light on? Yeah, ABS. ABS light. lights on. And that thing cost me a used one. I had it done at a dealer in. It was $600 and it didn't last six months. And there's huh. nothing wrong with the brakes, but it's just idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this up and yeah. we're going to talk about, we're going to do some follow ups on these cars too. We're not done talking about Art's cars, but we had a guy comment telling us that that 
58 Chevy's not called Colonial Cream, and it's in the, we yeah. just looked earlier, it's in the dealer brochure, that car's Colonial Cream. <laughs> yeah. And so he also said there's no way that interior could be that original because they didn't have that multicolor. Well, it's pictured right there in the dealer brochure. So we're going to wrap it up. And I want you guys to tell Art for tank, take, taking you down the road at 130 mile an hour in his 98 <laughs> Jack. And neither one of us got a seatbelt on. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> we're going to wrap this up, guys, again. Please hit that thumbs up and comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching.